look at Boo. Oh my god. Our new cat Boo, who is gonna get a job in the service industry if Grizabella has her way. <laughs> Well, hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of our Sims 2 Astro Legacy Challenge. We're back at the Astro Legacy house. Grizabella is, oh, I'm sure gasping at Sierra playing the piano. Of course, Sierra Astro Legacy, the nice witch. A new thing that happened recently. We are here again. Um, I'm hoping in this episode to, I would love to get Grizabella closer to being married. Last episode, we found a couple of candidates for Grizabella that she may be able to marry. Uh, we also adopted some new pets. Boo, who is asleep on uh, Ramses' bed right now. And also Grizzabirdie, Grizabella's little birdie, who is just very cute. I think Grizzabirdie is adorable. Look at him. Yes, go off Grizzabirdie. I love him. Or her. I don't know if Grizzabirdie's a boy or a girl. This episode, I'm hoping to get Grizabella a little bit closer to being um, married. She is now on rank 9 of her dance career. She is now Flamenco Master. Uh, we just have a couple skill points to get. We went out to try to find a rich townie to marry because that was something that she rolled out of college, but I'm torn now. We met a rich guy, who, like he's kind of rich. I'm not even super sure. I've heard in my research, I have read, that the marry a rich sim want in the first place is a little bit weird. So it's really possible that we'll marry a rich sim and it won't even fulfill the want. So I'm a little worried about that. But we did meet this guy named Sterling last episode, who is seemingly at least somewhat rich. He was like two, two little simoleon symbols worth of rich. And we seem to hit it off pretty well. Um, the only thing is, uh, he's a romance sim, but he is a Taurus. So he checks a few boxes, but I also really want to try out asking um, try out asking Ravi Cody out on a date for Grizabella as well because he seems to be like her best friend and dance partner and I just feel like that's so cute I don't know I know I've already made the mistake of trying to marry off my sims to their best friend uh, I can't help it I'm a Pisces I'm a, I'm a natural family sim I just I want them to be soulmates like lifelong soulmates when they get married and that doesn't seem to always suit a sim so We'll see. I was going to let Grizabella go on a date with Ravi today um, at the house and just see how it goes. And if it goes well, if it goes better than Sterling, maybe marry her to Sterling. Or if it goes poorly, maybe then go fully for Sterling. So we're figuring it out. Oh my god. Oh, it looks like Sierra maxed out her music and dance enthusiasm, kind of like Ramsey's did a few weeks ago. Um, that's in her, her inventory. I guess we'll put that up on the wall. Right there, next to Ram. Well, not next to Ramses, but just like Ramses. Ramses wants to throw a party, so I think we should do that. I don't know how Jason Ke Cleveland and Ramses became not friends last episode. That was kind of weird. Who else can we invite? A lot of people won't come if Ramses invites them. Let's just those randos. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, and then let's have um, let's have Grizabella invite her possible other bachelor to the party to see how they get along. Okay, Samantha's here, the only friend that matters. And Jason is here. Um, okay, let's try inviting over Ravi. Is he here already? Like, why isn't he coming up on the fun book list? What does he look like? He's like blonde. Um, he should be like pretty high on this list, I would think. Where's Ravi? Is he already over? Did we invite him over? All these adult blondes look the same to me. Hmm, he might, is he already here? Hold on, let me look around. No? Why wasn't he on the list of people she knew? There he is. Ravi Cody, does he just not have a phone? That's gonna be a problem. Let's try again. He should be having, he should have that hat on. Ravi, Ravi Cody, where are you with your hat? Does he not have? Is this by first name? Okay. D, S, Prof. Is that P? Oh my God. Hold on. What am I looking for? Robbie. P, Q, R, R, S, R. 
Robin. What the hell? Where is he? Does he not have a phone? That sucks. Ramses is sick with the flu. Who is who here is still sick? We had our healing party last time where we had the comfort soup that was supposed to cure everyone's flu. God. Who's calling now? It's that guy. Well, damn. Okay, well, not having a phone is like kind of a big factor in all of this. <laughs> can she chat with him on the computer? Send an email? Hey, can she send an email to him? Can we send an email to, uh... Oh, what's his face? Yes, we can! Oh my god, we can only communicate with Ravi by email. <laughs> Does he just not have a phone? That's so confusing. <laughs> I'll take a bath right now. We're in the middle of a party. Samantha's hanging out with Boo. Okay, well, the least you can do right now, Grizabella, is like work on one of your skills, please. Amar is no longer a friend. Oh my god, that sucks. We tried to invite him to so many parties. Jason Cleveland is straight up taking a shower in our in our bathroom right now. And Samantha Cordial is bathing herself. Why is this happening? Can anyone tell me why this is happening? This was not part of the party plans, but everyone did it anyway. That was weird. It was very weird. Especially when everyone in the house needs to take a shower. What is Ramses doing? She's out here playing chess by herself. Wow, she can sell that painting for almost $500 though. That's great. I can only hope that the next time Grizabella comes home from work that I guess that he'll come. Are we able to like, I don't even know. Oh my God. We did a good time though. Good, t good job on the party, I guess. See if Ravi has emailed you back yet. This is such a weird, this is so weird. Did he? Send another email to him since we still can't. Can I call? Oh my god. You're, who are you talking to? Oh yeah, I forgot. You, now it's time that y'all can go bathe. Um, Grizabella, can you call the other guy then? Can we call, what's his face? What if I call to ask out on date? Like, it, does he, does Ravi come up then? Another. Oh, this is actually from, this is from Grizabella's date. These roses. Still have way too many roses in here though. I am so pissed that Ravi doesn't have a phone. Okay, yeah, Sterling does. I mean, that's one for Sterling. So like my my problem, my problem is, and I kind of said it already probably, but my problem is that Sterling seemingly is a rich sim that we're attracted to that she wants, but I can already see that he's a romance sim, which could be interesting. Maybe, you know, I, it seems like Grizabella is not really that romantically inclined to begin with. So maybe like it wouldn't bother her that much that he's not so like intimate with her. You know what? Maybe, yeah, maybe so. Maybe he's a good choice for her. I was thinking that Ravi might be a better pick for her because he seems to be her dance partner and they're like besties and stuff. They have chemistry and he's a cancer. Um, but I don't know. He doesn't have a phone. That's kind of a big deal breaker. We can't ask him over without a phone. I can't believe she still is in love with Vassal. That's messed up. She needs to get over Vassal. He was not worth it and he was glitched. <laughs> and he's in college still. Okay, well, we can't, yeah. I guess Ravi is practically out of the running because we can't, we can't get a hold of him. That's hilarious. Look who's up on the counter again. <laughs> Look at this. Hey everyone. Welcome back to The Sims 2 Astro Legacy Challenge. I'm Boo. And here's Jason eating diseased, like it's like he's eating expired fly ridden burgers that we made hours ago. Uh, it's like 21 o'clock, whatever time that is. And like, why is he here? He needs to go home to his wife and son. God, I actually haven't seen Vassal come around in a while. I'm glad he hasn't. I was ready to call the cops on him. We have a lot of money now too. With all of her promotions and stuff, uh, Grizabella has really finally gotten our family a little bit richer. No thanks to her two unemployed moms who are only ever needing to go to the bathroom. She wants to sell a masterpiece, which I think is a worthwhile use of her time because she has max creativity points, so. Uh, Grizzabirdie? What you doing there, bud? 
Oh, is he trying to get outside? Oh, man. Man, that's no good. We probably should close Grizzabirdie's cage. I know why the Grizzabirdie sings. The caged Grizzabirdie. Oh my god, Grizzabirdie, you need to go back to your cage. <laughs> oh god, the back door is just open. Now it's closed. Okay, good. <laughs> god. Yeah, the women of this house love to perform. They love to do their creative endeavors. It's a very creative, very performance-based household. Look at her, look at her go. Yeah, Sierra in her old age all of a sudden became a witch. What was really depressing about it is that Ramses has uh, like keeps rolling this want to have her cured of her witchiness, which I think sucks because I would have thought she'd be way more accepting of her wife becoming a witch later in life. I think that's cool. We embrace her for who she is. Sierra's gone through a lot of phases while living in this house. She's constantly changing what she wants to do. And you know what? I support it. She's been struck by lightning. She's become a witch. She's done a lot. She was military. She was cop. She's gone through a lot of things. <laughs> it's day two of your days off, so we might ask that dude out. Though I think she doesn't have the want for it anymore. Now she just wants to buy a $5,000 painting, which we can do along with a better bed. Let's get her a nice bed. What's like the best bed you can get? Let's get her this. $3,000 bed. Chump change for Grizabella. Oops. Let's see. Well, there's not really a color scheme I like of the... Ooh, I like this even better, actually. Let's see. Let's do this. Huh. Check that out. It looks like <laughs> that shelf is like kind of part of the headboard. Isn't that nice? Oh wait, hold on. I was gonna... Oops! Whoa! What is that? 45 degree view. That's hilarious. There, that matches a little bit better, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and then she wants a $5,000 painting, was it? Let's see. She should! Yeah, she still has the one I got her a while ago. Oh my god, I didn't realize this was part of the... <laughs> Um, let's see. Yeah, we can put a painting on this wall. We need a $5,000 painting. 5,000, not 500. Oh my god. How much is a five? Which is there? Is there only one? There's not even. There's not even. Buy a painting costing at least $5,000. There isn't one. I don't, that I can see. The most expensive one is 4,900 for some reason. Ah! Holy shit, I love that though. Let's do it. Let's see if it, do we just get, we might get some sort of, oh no, that's still counted. I think we must get some sort of discount because of like Sierra or something like that. I remember a long, long time ago, Sierra saying she could get a discount on furniture for some reason. How funny is this? I think this is so Grizabella though. Like this is so what Grizabella is at this point. Like just really fine, art for no reason in her room. I love it. <laughs> She's bougie. Oh my god, Grizz Grizzabirdie is like, I think, trying to leave still. I'm nervous about that. <laughs> cool. Everyone's working on their own skills. That's great. God, I'm checking every day to see if it was just like a glitch that Ravi can't get invited over, but like he seriously can't get invited over. It's so annoying. <sighs> Let's invite over Sterling. I think the game is just telling me it's Sterling. Yeah, your friend can come over too, I guess. Let's serve pancakes for Sterling. And then what is Ramsey's doing? She's taking a bath. Of course she is. She's doing pretty good. That's good. Oh, the toilet's clogged. <laughs> Figures. We need a handy person in this house. <laughs> I hope Grizzabirdy eventually goes back to her cage. Sterling brought over Diane. Interesting. Read everyone, I guess. Who is Diane? Little sister? She seems to have a different last name than him, though. Uh-oh, here's a moment of truth. Uh, Grizzabirdy is blocking the front door. That's insane. Oh 
Oh my god, this is insane. I are you serious? What is going on? Okay, I feel like Grizzly Birdie has glitched out. I'm gonna move Grizzly Birdie with a move objects on sheet. Ah! Okay, not that. I, you're telling me I can't pick up Grizzly Birdie even with move objects on on. Are you serious? Are you for real? Oh my god. <laughs> um, is there a way? Is it because the birdcage is like somehow inaccessible? Let's put the birdcage right here and see if the bird will go back into its cage. Yeah, can she just, I guess we'll have to, I haven't seen Vassal in a while, so I'm unlocking some of this stuff and hoping he doesn't come by all of a sudden. So weird that Grizzly Birdie is stuck there like that. Ooh, wow. Instantly third wheeling this Diane fellow. She can propose to move in already, which is a lot. I don't know what to do about them. I do want to take him to buy new clothes, though. So I was thinking about having him just go on a date with her. Let's see. Then we can get a little glimpse into his wants again. Because we could do like we did with Ramses and just wait until he doesn't have the scared of marrying um, Grizabella wants and then just get married real quick. <laughs> Okay, I am going to go buy clothes somewhere. We can go in within Melodonna Cove. We can go to that weird place. Ooh, let's go to Fre uh, Freya's Raymonds. Adorn yourself as a goddess, it says. Yeah, see, he's still afraid of getting married to Grizabella for some reason. We'll just leave Diane here and everyone else. Amber's here. Thanks for cleaning, Amber. Ramsey's is healthy again. I didn't know she had the flu again. It's probably from Jason again. Okay. Let's go get some clothes. Let's go on a date. It'd be cool if... I, I guess then... Okay. So if we can't call or invite over Rob, or whatever his name was, um... If we're leaning into this guy, Sterling, then I guess what we can do is keep inviting him out on dates. And when he finally has not the fear to get married to Ramses, then we will just try to get engaged to him real fast. But luckily, we have, oh God, yeah, we'll have to see. We'll just have to see. <laughs> and we're here with the human statue, something we haven't seen since the very first days of Ramses out on the town. Trying to get Sterling to be into us and not be afraid of marrying us. We could move him in first. That could get us started at least on getting the second generation, you know, embedded in her. That's a way to say get pregnant, huh? Embed a child in her. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I feel like we could at least work on that. And then we would have full, like, <laughs> we would be able to see as soon as he doesn't have the fear of marrying her. Because, like, it's pretty normal to move someone in before you get married. That's what Ramses and Sierra did. So that's very possible. We could try that. We might need to make sure that we're, like, besties first, though. So we'll work on that. Okay, they're besties now. That's good. He wants to meet someone new. Ugh. He doesn't have the fear to marry Ramses or uh, to marry Grizabella anymore now. Oh, now he does. God. That was, like, a briefly lived moment. We need to ask him one more time how much money he has. He said he's a mad scientist. All right, let me check what mad science, what level is mad scientist. Is that top of the science career track? Because if so, he should be making bank. Really shouldn't look away for too long. They could woohoo in the car. Oh, he's in love with her now. Okay, there is an unsavory charlatan here, and I'm not, I'm not happy about that. Oh, hey, Samantha Cordial's here. Yeah, send the car with me. We can do what my mom always does. It's been christened. Oh, God damn it. Can they not even, like, make out in here yet? Are you serious? Get out of the car. Oh, my God. Let's get this to a dream date and then end the date, and then she can get some clothes. <laughs> she loves a friendly hug. She thinks a friendly hug is great. He wants to dance with somebody. He wants to feel the heat with somebody. Ooh, Spencer thought she's hot. Oh, shit. Let's ask Spencer um, what his sign is and how much money he has. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Hold on. Let's end the date really quick first. 
He wants to have two loves at once. Yeah, see, like, he's afraid of getting married and getting engaged. I just think Grizabella deserves better than that, you guys. If I have the power to see that, I just really think she deserves better than that. So let's ask this guy what his sign is <laughs> and ask him how much money does he have, even though she just fell in love with this guy. I just think she could do better. Okay, this guy's an Aquarius. That's very fun. We have not seen that before. Is he admiring her? No, he's networking. Okay. I run my own business and we could really use a smart sim like you on our team. How'd you like to start working in the oceanography career? Ah, oh. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I, I, I am a ballet dancer by trade. How much money do you have though? If you have your own business. Oh, <gasps> guys, he's rich. Okay, okay, let's charm him. I don't care if it's right in front of Sterling. Yeah, that's okay. That's a fast way to break up with him, I think. It's okay, you're a romance sim and I don't care. Can we break up real quick? High five, yes! Oh my God, I love that. High five for doing better. Spencer Gerges, oh my God. What do you do for a living? What is your job? I love this guy. Oh my God, that was great. No, Charlatan, stay out of this. That was so funny. That was just a fast and efficient way to break up with that guy. And he's richer too. Okay, fuck this. I was still looking up what mad scientist is. Oh, he's a backup dancer. I run my own business and we could really use a smart sim like you on our team. Oh my God, she thinks he's hot too. That's it. This is the guy. This is the guy. He's an Aquarius. I think that a Capricorn can totally get along with an Aquarius. Should I give him a coupon for a free meal or her MP3 player? Oh my God. <laughs> Let's give him a coupon for a free meal. <laughs> This is my prized possession. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh my God. I love that this worked. Oh my God. I love this. I'm so glad we, we I'm glad we came out today. I'm going to, I'm going to invite this guy over. Spencer Gerges. Hold on. Let me pause. Hold on. Let me make sure that this guy's a townie. Look how angry though. Hold on. Look how angry we have made Sterling. We have really like angered some guys. <laughs> okay, give me just a second. Spencer, is that his name? Spencer Gerges? Yeah. Uh, he's not coming up as a main pre-made sim or anything, and I'm seeing Gerges's from other um, families. So yeah, let's do it. Let's go for him. I think this is a sign from God. Let's go somewhere, Spencer. Get this fucking sa unsavory charlatan away from me. You want to go on a date, Spencer? With me right now? Even though now Sterling is talking up Samantha Cordial. That is so funny. What does he want? <gasps> He's a family sim. He already likes her. Okay, that's it. That seals the deal. I think we need we need Spencer in the house. We need Spencer in the family. I'm so glad that we didn't settle on Sterling and that we are going for Spencer instead. I think he is the right one to go for. And I'm glad that we just like speed run ran that that's fine i'm glad we did it in front of sterling too to just save us all some time in breaking up you know go spencer he is afraid of falling out of love with grizabella that is so refreshing on this on this sims on this playthrough okay grizabella deserves this man let's get him he's rich he's a family sim he's an aquarius he's got everything we need and he also is just, he seems so much sweeter than Sterling. It seemed like he was going to be. So let's, let's do it. We need to break up with all the men that she still has hearts with, but it doesn't matter. I'm so glad. Oh, um, she wants to put her head on his shoulder. How sweet is that? And he's a backup dancer too. That is just so sweet. How'd you like to start working in the oceanography career? And she has two, two chemistry bars. Two, count them, two chemistry bars with this dude. So I think it was meant to be. Let's go, buddies, let's go. And now she's like, I don't wanna kiss. I think that Grizabella just doesn't like kissing. I think that's so funny. She wants to be friends with Sterling again. Uh, we need to break up with him. <laughs> we just need to get it up to dream date and then we'll invite you over tomorrow and we'll get married, okay? We got some business done on our days off. <laughs> oh my God, Jason. Jason, check it out, we found a lover. Oh God, I'm just no now noticing his nose though. He has blue eyes. Oh my God, Jason thinks that the statue is hot. That's really funny. I'm not loving that Spencer's eyes and nose are kind of strange, but we can deal, we can deal with that. Cool. Good job, good job, you guys, good job. There we go. 
Yeah, we don't need to be BFFs with Sterling. We're fine now. We're fine. Getting stuff done, you guys. That was, and he's an Aquarius too, which I think is really fun and interesting. I haven't even seen an Aquarius like out and about yet. So I think that's going to be cool. Capricorn and Aquarius, the two winter signs. Sign number, um, oh shit, like 10 and 11 come together. Okay, sweet. Let's, now that we're back. Oh shit, the bird finally got out of the, out of the house. Now it's just flying around the lot, it looks like. Hopefully it won't leave. <gasps> yeah, okay. I guess as long as it stays here, it's fine. Okay, it came back in. Very confusing. It's gone back into its cage. Let's put it back where it's supposed to go. Just right over here. Cool. Okay. So Grisabella did a great job today, I feel like. Um, finding a potential lover. Oh my God, Sterling just took our newspaper because he's pissed at Grisabella. It's whatever, it's whatever. It is what it is, you know? It is what it is. <laughs> She found a new boyfriend. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. <laughs> Ramses still has some days left in her life. I would like her to be able to witness Grisabella be married. So she knows that Grisabella won't be alone in life once she dies. Oh, did she just make a friend with Diane? So funny. Oh my God. She wants to throw another party. We should, we should. She wants to have 30 best friends at once. That's even higher than her lifetime goal. <laughs> It's ridiculous. To show that she cares about Spencer, she just is afraid of him becoming a warlock for some reason. This family is so racist against witches and warlocks. I don't know why. Is that bird poop? It is. Oh God, Sterling called. Our date was rocking. Let's have another. I'm gonna stay here. Sorry, Sterling. I thought we were breaking up. I guess Sterling actually doesn't care if she dates other people. <laughs> okay, um, first of all, can we close Grizzabirdie's cage? I'm sorry, Grizzabirdie. Oof, she's getting old. We need to get Grizzabella married soon. What, Diane, we did not invite you to spend the night. Get out of here, weird teenager. More roses for Bandit's grave. <gasps> There's Bandit's, ah! Oh, I said last episode that I was gonna try to capture Bandit's ghost. We finally got to see it. There it is, Bandit's ghost. Yeah, so Bandit just like wanders around in the evenings as a ghost. And I think that's so great. I'm so glad that Bandit is still blessing us even in the afterlife. Sorry, it took like two episodes for you to finally see the Bandit ghost. That was part of the lost episode that we tragically lost in that power surge. She likes to just walk up the stairs. She likes to float down and walk up the stairs. Classic Bandit move. Hopefully Bandit's okay with the fact that we got Boo and Grizzabirdie. <laughs> Wow, she has completely maxed her lifetime aspiration meter, even though we didn't get her lifetime goal yet. That's funny. Perfect Paragon, you've mastered the art of living a happy and successful life. Oh, did we, we reset her, we never reset her um, secondary aspiration, did we? God. That, you know, in a lot of these um, aspiration rewards aren't even really worth it. Oh yeah, she doesn't have any of these anymore. Let's just go ahead and get them all. Oh wait, she doesn't need any of the work ones actually. And then she had, I'm just going to pick the same one she had before, which was romance. No, no, no. It was pleasure. It was pleasure. But yeah, she's, I'm surprised she has so much aspiration. I don't know what to waste it on. <laughs> yeah, they both. Okay. So we can at least take solace in the idea that even though I didn't get their lifetime once, I still filled up their lifetime aspiration meter completely. Um, so that's great. Okay. I think we should invite over Spencer now. I guess. I love that you can tell he's got like the painted chest as like his his clothes. I think that's hilarious. Oh my God, Spencer or Sterling. Sterling stole our, our newspaper again. She wants to be flirted with and kiss. I think it's funny that she doesn't necessarily want it to be with her betrothed, who, who I am calling her betrothed, Spencer. God, they're like knocking over our trash can and stuff too. We have made some serious enemies. Is Spencer bringing over Marissa Cleveland, Jason Cleveland's wife? That is so funny. Can she propose engagement? Let's do it. Let's just do it. He has a weird face, but who cares? All right. Grizabella is asking this rich guy 
who she also likes and who is an Aquarius and a backup dancer to marry her. He has a very soft and doughy face versus her very severe structured face. So maybe they'll make a good offspring. Yes! Okay, they're engaged. I guess marrying would be the next step. Do they even have a memory of their daughter getting engaged? Good, yes, I'm glad that they do. Um, we could set up uh, nah, this episode won't be the episode for the wedding. I'm sure the, the wedding can be next episode. Let's ask him to move in, too. Because I think that that makes sense. They can live together before they get married. I don't think that we need to be so old-fashioned that, like, they have to get married first. Spencer's moving in with $4,000. Um, now I'm worried, though, that it's going to mess up the marry a rich sim. I'm not sure. We'll see. I mean, either way, you saw. You all saw. He had three money signs on his thing. Um, so I'm hoping when we get married... Oh my god, he already like told her a joke she didn't appreciate. Let's take a look at him. He wants to flirt and meet someone new immediately. But no, he's afraid of falling out of love with Grizabella and Grizabella dying. So that's that's good. Um, let's look at his memories. Got engaged to Grizabella. He went to college. That's interesting. He kissed Grizabella. He went to college. That's confusing. He's an adult. What does his lifetime want? Reach golden anniversary. Oh! Aww. Oh my god, that's so cute! He's an Aquarius, I believe. Yes. Which Aquarius, The Sims 2 describes as, friendly and amusing. Aquarians are excellent companions. Being well-balanced in other areas helps to make them one of the most agreeable signs. But I think that's hilarious. Um, one of my favorite Aquariuses ever is Kenya Moore. So I feel like, you know, we can't go wrong. Well, you better preach now. Right? Fabulous. Going with the wind, fabulous. Okay? Thank you. Well, all right, man. But he has a lot of playful points, just like Grizabella does. So it seems as though the playful score is bringing these two together in a great way. And I think Capricorn and Aquarius just kind of work together. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. How do you feel about Spencer Gurgis? Let's, um, holy shit, whoa. Hold on, what's going on in here? What the fuck? Did you see that? Ramses was just poking a fight. Oh my gosh, he's getting in a fight with Jason's wife. What happened? Oh my, she just met Marissa. Is Marissa mad that Jason spends all of his time over here? That is crazy. Attack her. Attack her. I bet you could totally beat her in a fight, Ramses. Do it. He's tossing the football. He, like, the very first memory he has is meeting Grizabella. I'm surprised he's considered rich, though. I don't think he's gonna be considered rich, so I may have fucked that up, but that's okay. He just wants to reach his golden anniversary, which is so sweet. Oh, he has a sewing badge. And fishing. Go Ramses! Oh my god, I'm so proud of her. Let me go ahead and... Oh god, Sterling is here. Attack him! Get him, get him, get him! Oh, someone's... Carpool is here. Whose carpool is here? Is that... That might be Sterling's carpool. Yeah, it is. He's gonna go to work. Okay, two fights in a row. Hopefully both of the Astro Legacy gals will be on top here. I'll teach Sterling to ever come the fuck around here again. Get him! She's pretty fit. I think she should win. Yes! I'm so proud of you, Grizabella. Get him the hell out of here. Yeah, get out. Get out. Get out, Sterling. So we've got our boy. I don't know if he's gonna be rich or not. Like, he seemed to be rich. We all saw it. I'm gonna keep playing the clip where he said he had three money signs. But when he moved in, he only brought $4,000 in. However, the want is about marrying a rich sim. So I'm gonna still see if when we get married, he is considered a rich sim. Otherwise, I may have fucked up that want, but that's okay because I still feel like he ultimately met everything we needed. Um, and I don't think he'll cheat on, on Grizabella the way that Sierra did. <laughs> Which is why I don't think they've made it to their golden anniversary yet. Um, but how exciting. I think uh, let's set up the place out here to get a wedding going soon.
There we go. Okay. And with that, I think that I will leave you guys here. Um, we've got Ramses and Sierra making out after beating the shit out of Jason's wife. What the hell happened there? So much happened today. We broke up with our current boyfriend. We moved our new one in who fit more of the standards we wanted for this Astro Legacy Challenge. We now have more of an idea of where we're going moving forward. After today, in our next episode, we'll get married. We'll have a child as soon as we can. Hopefully Ramses and Sierra will live long enough to see both of those events occur. <laughs> They're both kind of like, eh, this is disgusting. Not as cute as our wedding was, as they would do. Um, but yeah, I'll leave you guys on this very exciting setup for our wedding and see you next week. If you guys liked this episode, please consider giving it a like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. New episodes of this Sims 2 Astro Legacy Challenge come out on Mondays. Um, we also do a series on Wednesdays uh, playing through all the Kingdom Hearts games in chronological story order. If you want to check that out, me and my co-host Seth, who is a Capricorn. Um, otherwise, uh, stay, stay pumped and write your messages of congratulations to Grizabella in the comments below for her wedding to her much nicer boyfriend. And we'll see you then. Bye bye Is there a dog in here? Sierra, can you congratulate her or anything? Don't encourage her. No? Nope. She just doesn't give a shit. None of them do. Never have. <laughs>